Okay, so we have copies of the, all of these bills. We're just, um, I'm gonna highlight a few of them. The first one is the Respect for Rights of Conscience Act, Conscience Act of 2011. This is a resolution to urge the president to reverse the Department of Health and Human Services regulation that employers provide health insurance that covers birth control without co-pays under the guise of religious freedom. You've probably heard about this one. Um, the Respect for Rights of Conscience Act of 2011 would allow those who purchase or sell health insurance plans to deny coverage for an objectionable service. This allows health facilities that object to a certain service to refrain from providing that service, and employees of a health care provider may request reassignment to other duties if asked to perform or assist with a service that violates their religious convictions. Thirdly, uh, you may have heard about the personhood law. This would amend the state's legal code to include quote unquote fetus as part of the definition of individual in every part of the law. An embryo becomes a fetus at 11 weeks. Therefore, this would ban abortions after 10 weeks of pregnancy. If a woman has an abortion after 10 weeks of being pregnant, she could be prosecuted for murder. This law would open up miscarriages to criminal investigation. It would also ban hormonal birth control and emergency contraception. The next one, there's two more, is the ultrasound bills. And you may have heard about this as well. These bills are all aimed at forcing women to have an ultrasound at least two hours before an abortion is performed with the most technologically advanced equipment available. The bills further state that the monitor must be aimed at the patient so that the only way a patient can waive this option is to turn her head and close her eyes. In early pregnancy, the most technologically advanced ultrasound would be an extremely invasive transvaginal ultrasound. This could. This could be considered an equivalency to state-sanctioned rape. Rape. This further burdens the doctors to have to perform unnecessary medical procedures. And uh, the last one that I think is very haunting is called an anti-coercion bill. These bills make it a crime to coerce a woman into having an abortion, but not a crime if a woman is coerced into having the baby. A person could be fined $5,000 if they coerced an adult woman into having an abortion, and $10,000 for a person who coerced a minor into having an abortion. These bills also mandate an unnecessary oral screening to prove the woman has not been coerced into having an abortion. An additional 24-hour wait period would be invoked if it is determined the woman was coerced. So those are just a few of the bills that have been introduced and that are really bringing down the war on women and we have copies of these over at the table. Thanks.